Now here's a review I absolutely had no idea I was going to end up doing. It's for the Smith & Wesson Bullseye Knife and Hatchet Set. Alright, so this is a really kind of a off-the-cuff surprise review. I didn't purchase these. Our ham radio club has a Christmas party and we do a white elephant gift exchange and that's where you get one gift and the next person can either take your gift or go take a new one and anyway I ended up with this set. Um, actually uh, my wife made sure I ended up with this set because it was one of the cool things there. I mean you know, everything else was kind of not something I'd want. So um, I figured you know I'm gonna take a look at it and I played around with it and I'm like hey well why not do a review on it. I didn't really see any on uh, on YouTube and basically all I saw was its companion copy which is the uh, it's made by um, Schrade and it's a Schrade old timer set but anyway this is the same thing as you can tell by the box it's made by Taylor Brands um, so it basically is Schrade stuff and we'll go off on the stats of it first and we're going to take it outside and run through a little bit of its paces and test it out we're going to start off with the knife. Okay, 4.387 inches. It's got a gut hook on it. I was kind of like, eh, I don't really want that. I'd rather have a full, you know, knife there. But uh, what the heck? I was thinking about cutting it off, but I'm not going to mess up the knife. I'll just leave it and use it. Um, it is a 420C stainless steel uh, with a brushed finish, black rubberized grip. Really nice um, grips on this. It's the rubberized kind of stuff, like their TPE. Now this says it has a lanyard hole, but it doesn't. On the uh, information I got from the box, it says it has a lanyard hole, but it doesn't. And it's a 9.5 inches overall length and 8.9 ounces. Okay, and very sharp, by the way. I just dropped that. It was already very, very sharp. So um, being that it's a Schrade knife, essentially, we're going to keep it and use it for tasks for doing videos and stuff like that. Uh, maybe it'll end up in the car survival kit. Who knows? All right, now we're going on to the hatchet. As you can tell, that's a pretty decent thick piece of steel there. It is a full tang. Um, I saw somebody who took one of these apart. It's not, you know, like it kind of stops here and goes down inside. It's not like a full piece of steel all the way down straight down, but it is a full tang hatchet. It is 10.7 inches overall. Got the same black rubberized handle, and again, no lanyard hole. <laughs> Keep saying it has a lanyard hole. The blade length is 5.9 inches. Same blade material, 420C stainless, and it's 21.6 ounces. Ounces. Pretty comfortable in the hand, actually. I really uh, kind of like how that feels. Um, I know a lot of people aren't into small axes or small hatchets. Uh, it all depends on what you're doing with it. You know, for me. Again, this may end up in my car kit and replace some of the stuff that I have in there because with this, I can do pretty much any kind of wood processing for making a small fire. I'm not going to be chopping down huge trees with this, but I can cut off branches, chop them down, and actually what we're going to do outside is make some wood chips with it because um, I use wood chips in one of my little stoves. So we're going to process some wood chips with it and see how it does there. So anyway, let's go outside and take a look. One thing I did want to mention before we go outside, and I forgot to talk about it, was the sheath. Um, honestly, for keeping it in your house, you know, to keep it safe while it's lying around your house, this is probably fine. For carrying it, I don't know. It, uh, this is really the issue here. Um, my concern is, you know, if this is down like this and I put it in, it doesn't hold the knife. And it's not the strongest of, you know, it could still come out with that clipped on it. So I'm not a big fan of the sheath. Um, you know, I mean, it does have a belt loop, so you can carry it on your belt. I don't think it would fall out and injure you, but I'd probably look for something better or make yourself something else with Kydex. Let's get this guy out of here. And that's how the axe comes out like that. So, I mean, it's not horrible, but I would probably upgrade it if I was going to be uh, doing anything but carrying it in a bug-out bag or maybe in a car kit or you know, in camping gear. If I was going to carry this on my hip, I'd probably have two separate sheaths, and one would probably be mounted on my pack, and one would be mounted on me. Because this guy's, it came with it, but it's not the best. Anyway, 
back to getting outside. Okay, goes right through that, no problem. As you can tell, it's very sharp. I mean, you can almost make a feather stick with this. Let's see what. That's some old, seriously nasty old dead wood that's been out here for years. Um, did a good job, didn't damage the blade. Um, I was trying not to go in like this too much because my hand's over here, so I was kind of just hitting straight down that way. But it uh, did work pretty well. Let's see if we can get a. Get it this way. I'm not doing the best demo on chopping today. But yeah, it just chops right straight down. So what I'm trying to do is make some wood chips like that. They're flying everywhere. And smaller pieces of wood for things like my wood stoves and stuff like that. So anyway, you get the idea. It works pretty well. Um, it doesn't have the mass of a full-size hatchet, but uh, cutting through that old nasty wood, it did a pretty good job. Now I'm gonna try the knife a little bit. First, let's see how it feather sticks, yeah. That's nice and sharp. Because this wood is so old, it's just feather sticking it nice and thin and then falling right off. I get me some fresh wood when I do these videos. Uh, let's see. Let's baton through something here. Okay. Yeah, easily. No problem with that. to finish it off. There we go. Making little chips. Of course they're flying over there so I'll have to pick them up after the video. But uh, that's kind of what I'm going for. Little chips like that for my little stoves. So I mean all in all for something I got for free. I can't really complain about it. Um, the knife is actually a lot better than I thought it would be, and this uh, gut hook doesn't really interfere with its operation as a knife at all. And uh, the hatchet actually works pretty darn good for, uh, wasn't so sure it was actually going to work as good as it did, but uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. So, yeah, bites right in to that. Of course, now it won't do it because it's on camera. There. <laughs> Uh, bites right in there, but um, yeah, I'm gonna mess around with these. I'm gonna use them out here for processing wood for videos and stuff um, See how they hold up see if they chip or get damaged or anything and when I'm satisfied with them I'll probably take the uh, Cheap junker knife that I have in my uh, car get home kit and replace these with them But uh, all in all hey for something for free. I can't complain. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys soon